everyone welcome to this sharepoint online tutorial myself roslyn and in this video we will learn about sharepoint online image gallery web part and these are the following headings that we are going to cover in this video what is sharepoint online image gallery web part and how we can configure the image gallery web part to our modern sharepoint site page and how we can change the layouts of the image gallery web part what is sharepoint online image gallery web part it is the image gallery web part which allows us to display the collection of images in our modern sharepoint site page instead of uh, displaying a single image in image web part we can use the image gallery web part to display the collection of or a group of images that we want to display in our modern sharepoint site page in addition we can also add the title of, of the images at the top of the sharepoint online image gallery web part so when we add the image gallery web part to our modern sharepoint site page this is how it looks like this is how we can add the collection of our group of images and display it in the modern sharepoint site using the image gallery web part and these are the three layouts that are available in the image gallery web part one is brick layout another one is grid layout and the third one is carousel layout now i will show you how we can add the image gallery web part to our modern sharepoint site page and how we can add manually images to the image gallery web part and how we can display the images dynamically in the image gallery web part for that initially log in to the microsoft office home and select the sharepoint application and choose the site page where you want to add the image gallery web part here i am going to choose the communication site page and click on the edit icon presented at the top right corner and select the section that you want here i am going to choose one column section and click on the i circled icon to add the image gallery web part search for image gallery web part here you can see select the image gallery option from the results click on the add images option option to add images to the web part these are these image sources where we can upload the images to our image gallery web part either we can choose the recent images or we can select from the stock images that are presented or we can choose from the web search or we can upload it from a onedrive option else we can also choose from our sharepoint site if you have uploaded some few images in this document then we can choose and display this images in the image gallery web part else we can upload it from our local system by clicking on the upload option or from the link option this is how we can select the images where we can add it to our image gallery web part in this example i am going to select the recent images here i am going to select these two images and click on the insert option at a time we can add uh, only a single Im image when we select click on add option then we can insert two images manually and click on the republish icon here you can see the two images that we have added or displayed in the modern sharepoint site page now we will see how we can edit the image gallery web part open the modern sharepoint site page and select the image gallery web part portion click on the edit icon and select the image gallery web part and here you can see the edit web part when you edit web part there are two options that are presented under the image gallery web part one is image options and another one is layout options there are two options that is select images either we can select the images manually or we can display the images dynamically here i have already showed you how we can add the images to the image gallery web part manually by clicking on the add icon when we go with dynamically display images from the document library or the sharepoint site here you can choose the dynamic display images from the document library under the image options and select the document library where you have upload the images in this example i have uploaded the images in the document folder that is the reason once i selected this option it is showing data dynamically from the documents and we have also include subfolders if any images are presented inside the subfolders then that will also be displayed in the image gallery web part dynamically then maximum number that we can display here in the image gallery web part using the dynamic option is 30 
only 30 images we can display it in the modern sharepoint site page image gallery web part and click on the republish icon so that the changes will be appear in the modern sharepoint site page and click on the refresh icon here you can see that it is displaying data dynamically from the document library to the modern sharepoint site page in the image gallery web part this is how we can add and configure the image gallery web part to the modern sharepoint site page and this is how also we can edit the image gallery web part now we will see how we can change the layout options over here as i already said there are three layouts presented in the image gallery web part one is brick the second one is grid and the third one is carousel layout here by default it will be in the brick layout when you select grid option it is you can see the layout is changing to the grid format and when you select the carousel layout you can see the layout is changing as the carousel format this is how we can choose the layout as per the requirement and for the grid layout we can also choose the ratio by default it will be in 1 is to 1 square we can also choose 16 is to 9 by or 4.3 standard we can also have additional option to choose the ratio of the images that we want to display in the image gallery web part in addition we can also add the title to our image gallery web part this is how we can also edit the image gallery web part in the modern sharepoint site page and click on the republish icon so that the changes will be appear here you can see the title has been added to the modern sharepoint site page and this is also same for the team site page with this we came to the end of this video where we have learned how we can add the image gallery web part to our modern sharepoint site before that we have learned what is exactly a image gallery web part and how we can add and configure and edit the image gallery web part in the modern sharepoint site page and what are the different layouts presented in the image gallery web part and how we can show the images in each layout if you like this video please click on the like button and these are free video tutorials that are presented in our youtube channel thanks for watching this video please do subscribe to our youtube channel thank you